I'm just going to go through and show you a better understanding of how I find black book runners. And I'm going to use Tycoon Torrey as an example um, from Rockhampton today. Tycoon Torrey um, earlier today was $18 in the market in Rockhampton race four. And you'll see I black booked this horse on the 28th of the 3rd, 2023. Um, if we go and have a look at the form of Tycoon Torrey, the run from the 28th of the 3rd is here where it's ran second at Mackay over 1,300 metres. Beaten point two of a length, first at the 800, first at the 400. Police won the race and there was a big margin back to third. They put 5.5 lengths back to third, 7.3 to fourth, 8.6 to fifth. Now, the big thing to note here is how much merit is associated to that wide margin. And to work that out, what we really need to do is watch a replay of the race to see how much work Tycoon Torrey did early and how well it fought on in the straight. Um, that's where you're going to find the hidden merit in this run. Now, this is the race. If we go back to the start, this is Tycoon Torrey jumping from a wide gate, crosses, leads, fast tempo, relaxes mid-race, remembering this is 1,300 metres, drops back to 1,200 metres today. Um, this will give us a good indication. Racing. Good start it was to Revelers. So this is Tycoon Tori out here in the blue cap. Speed Tycoon Tori up into a hand. Crosses him. Continues to work. On the move early as well. Oslin's going to set on midfield. The Fast tempo. In Breckia, cold power. St. Moritz went back to the Jockey rear. restrains, speed, relaxes. Work up the back straight. Tycoon Tori, the lamp Now one works forward here. Length. Police to sit outside to it and apply mild pressure mid-race. You'll see police move forward in a second. So it's been a solid tempo consistently on the front end. That adds merit. Now police comes forward to pressure it and you'll see Tycoon Torrey start to widen the margin on third and fourth. They're already off the bit chasing. Three quarters of a length in front. Police sits up second. Raising Brecky at third. Strong time. action. Third Rails well. The Tori, the Puts a gap on him. Police, second Police hard outside. out to Trying chase to it down. Under a strong hand ride. Tycoon, Tori, the inside. Still Police widening the, the margin on the, on the rest. Tycoon, Tori. There's the light. Police, Tycoon, Tori. Ty okay, so it fights on anyway. So that's a replay of Tycoon Torrey in that race at Mackay on the 28th of the 3rd. Big merit, crossed him, led early, pressured, fast tempo, kicked on the, on the turn as one came at it and kept a margin on the rest. That was 1,300 metres. Today it dropped back to 1,200 metres, wins by 1.4, 2.4 lengths to third, and they bet $21 about it. Crazy price, silly price. The reason they bet that price is because of its last start failure at Rockhampton on a soft five, where it was beaten 6.4 lengths. Sat second at the 800, second at the 400. Obviously copped a tough trip, was 4.2 into 3.4, failed. Always forgive a horse for one bad run. This is where we black booked it back here at Mackay on the 28th of the 3rd. As I've shown here, by the date that it went into the black book on the 28th of the 3rd, and then it's come out and won next start as a short price favourite, 2.4 into 2.25. Then fails at Rockhampton, 1,200 metres again today after that 1,300 metre tough trip where it only just got rolled. It's obviously suited back to the 1,200 and they send it round at $21 on the back of one failure. Here it is here. $21 on the back of one failure. So that's a classic example of finding the hidden merit in a black book horse and being prepared to forgive it for one run. Um, and that's a little bit of an update on how to identify black book runners find hidden merit. It's always important to do video form. Margins mean a lot, and the depth of how those margins were created means even more. Thanks.